Love him or hate him, you knew who he was. Hugh Hefner, the founder of Playboy, passed away yesterday on September 27th at the age of 91, leaving behind what can only be described as a very complicated legacy. The question I asked people of Kelowna is whether they will remember him in a positive light or a negative one. That is a difficult question. Um, honestly, I think he does leave a positive influence. Uh, one thing that uh, I think for our generation or our society has become more and more is become more and more sex positive. The more that we educate ourselves, the better decisions that we can make, especially for um, the youth these days. Well, I thought he actually opened a few doors and, you know, caused a few waves and actually it was pretty positive rather than negative. I think negative. <laughs> and why so? <laughs> well, I think he exploited women. And I think that, um, you know, it's it not in a, a good way, like in a way where they didn't feel good about themselves. So they they did things for money. I think positive because of the uh, freedom of speech and what he did for race rela- races and inclusion in the early 60s. Awesome. How about yourself? Do you think he leaves behind a negative or a positive influence? Positive influence on fake boobs. Eh, positive enough. Makes people happy. People know him. I don't know positive enough. <laughs> never bothered you? No. I haven't met him, so it's not personal. Yeah, never bothered me. <laughs> Would you have been a Playboy bunny if you could have? Probably not, no. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I think when he came around and he started making what was famous, it was very important to highlight freedom of speech and freedom of creativity and, you know, ex- showing the beauty and not necessarily exploiting it, <laughs> but highlighting it. So, you know, the guy's a legend in his own self, and I didn't think he could die. <laughs> Would you have been a Playboy Bunny if you could have? I don't think the invite was there, but <laughs> go to the party. <laughs> That's a very good question. Well, I would say it's uh, it's quite positive because he, he broke new ground. And he, he would, people at the time said that he was flaunting it and was abusing women and so on and so forth. But these women lined up to be bunnies and, and, and go on to fame. And that they used it creatively to make money and do well. So uh, I think, yes, I would say that this would be a very positive um, legacy and a benchmark for sure. If you have an opinion on this topic or any other one, remember to email your thoughts to letters at castanet.net. For Castanet News, I'm Ron Balston in Kelowna. Big on business? Click the Okanagan Edge widget on the main page. The Okanagan Edge, positively business.